A cube has its length, width, and height all equal to 7. What is the length of its diagonal? And to figure out a problem like this, it might be easiest to first draw it, and that way it will help us better visualize the problem. So drawing this cube, its diagonal is simply the line from this corner to its opposite corner down here. So we can connect those. And you can notice that you can actually form a triangle involving this line as its hypotenuse if you draw another line from this corner to this corner. And the third leg, notice, is just this side here. And remember that each, the width, height, and length of this cube are all seven. So if we can figure out the length of this line here on the bottom of the cube, then we can figure out this diagonal length. So I'll call this D, and we can call this X. So to find this length X, let's redraw this triangle on the bottom here. So we have these two sides, which are length seven, and then its hypotenuse is this length X. And to figure out x, all we have to do is use the Pythagorean theorem, which is used for right triangles. So we have 7 squared plus 7 squared is equal to x squared. 7 squared is 49, so we have 49 plus 49 is equal to x squared. 49 plus 49 is equal to 98. So x is just equal to the square root of this. And now that we know this bottom length here, we can redraw this right triangle. So we have this length here, which is 7. This bottom length here, which is x, or the square root of 98. And this length here, this hypotenuse, which is d. So this is 7, and this is root 98. And again, since this is a right triangle, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. We have 7 squared plus the square root of 98 squared, and this is equal to d squared. 7 squared is 49. Root 98 squared is just 98. This is d squared. 49 plus 98 is 147, so d is just the square root of this. And since 147 is the same thing as 3, times 7 times 7, or times 7 squared, we can simplify this as the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 squared. And the square root of 7 squared is just 7. So D, our final answer, is 7 times the square root of 3. And if you put this in a calculator, it's about 12.12. ,12. So either of these would be acceptable as the final answer for this diagonal.